hope you're right and I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of the video today, I'm going to share with you guys my favourite pink lipsticks. I'm going to do swatches on my lips. You guys can actually see how the lipsticks look like. So I've already previously done my favourite new lipsticks. If you guys haven't watched it already, make sure you click the link here. So I usually get lots of emails of girls saying, Oh, I'm dark skin. I'm not confident enough. I want to wear pink lipsticks. What do I do? Personally, I feel everyone can wear a pink lipstick. However, what I do personally believe is different shades of pink complement different skin tones more. That's my personal opinion. You don't have to agree with me. You can do whatever you please. The milky nudie pinks. There's only so much a pencil or brown lip liner can do. But like I said, that's my personal preference. That's my personal opinion. But however, feel free to do whatever makes you happy. I feel like the deeper, bright, vibrant ones look definitely nice enough dark skin tones. Also, do bear in mind that a lipstick colour can look different on different people because not everyone's lips are the same. Some people have a darker lip, some people have lighter lips. Now, if you want to mute out your lips if you're darker, you can dab on a finishing powder to mute out your lips. You can use concealer to mute out your lips so that it's even and then apply the lipstick. If you look at mine, I have a darker top and a lighter bottom. I'm not too fast about muting out my lips. The first colour I'm going to show you is a matte lipstick and this is one of my favourite pink lipsticks that I wear a lot and this is called Pleasure Bomb. So Pleasure Bomb is from MAC and this was actually part of Riri's or Rihanna, my boo things. <laughs> it was part of her collection, so it's limited edition and this is how it looks like, it's a very rich pink. If you go on eBay, you might be lucky and find some people still selling it. So this is Pleasure Bomb. I think this is a very gorgeous pink colour. It's very vibrant, very bright in your face and it's definitely one of my favourites. So this second one is one of my all time favourites and I think it's probably one of the first pink lipsticks I got. This is also from MAC and this is called Girl About Town. So Girl About Town is gorgeous. This is Girl About Town. Girl About Town is an amplified finish, so it's quite moist. It's not a limited edition, so you can still get this in the shops. So this next lipstick is also by MAC, and this is the last MAC pink lipstick that I'm showing you guys. So this one's called Candy Yum Yum. So this Candy Yum Yum is a very bright pink. I personally prefer or feel more comfortable using this pink with a lip liner, like a purple lip liner. I feel like it complements it more. So this is Candy Yum Yum, a very bright pink. It can be a pink that can be a bit too shocking and a bit too harsh. So this next lipstick is called All About Me, and All About Me is from Topshop. This is a very old lipstick. I'm not too sure they still sell this, but it's also definitely one of my favorites. I like to wear this a lot. So this is also a very bright pink, and this is how it looks like when it's on the lips. So this is a very bright pink, very electrifying pink. I really do like this. It will complement all skin tones. So definitely a pink that everyone should have in their collection. So this next colour is by L'Oreal, which looks like this. So it's a bit of a light tea, peachy pink. This is in the shade 370 and it's called Crazy Fuchsia. I love the colour gold, so I feel like the gold packaging is very, very sexy. I'm going to show you how this looks like on... I feel like it's a light pink lipstick that is wearable. So this next one I'm going to show you is also a drugstore um, lipstick that you can get in the UK. I'm not sure if you can get abroad, but this is called Pink Power. And it's a last and fixed lipstick. So this is how Pink Power looks like. It's quite a lightish kind of pink as well. I'm just going to show you how it looks like on the lips. So also a very light pink, I feel like that's one that's wearable, it has a moisture kind of feel to it, so like an amplified luster kind of feel. So this is by 17. So this next lipstick is by NYX. This lipstick is in the shade 505A. It looks like a pinky purple kind of pink. So this is how it looks like on. I feel like this has a shiny looking effect to it, like a rainbow effect if that makes sense. So the next lipstick that I'm going to show you is from Sleep. And this pink lipstick is in the shade Pink Freeze. And Pink Freeze is a matte finish. But this is how Pink Freeze looks like. It's also one of those very bright pinks that 
Personally, I feel looks best once I wear with a lip liner. So very matte and very bright, but this is how pink freeze looks like on freeze, holes, freeze, pink freeze. So the next lipstick that I'm going to show you is by MUA. MUA is also a drugstore brand in the UK. All the lipsticks, the majority of their products are only a pound and the quality is actually incredible for it to only be a pound. This color is more of a peachy pink and it's called lipstick, it's called all Dirlies. It's, <laughs> the lipstick is in the shade seven. So this is how it looks like. Shade number seven. So this next lipstick that I'm going to show you is from Wet n Wild. I love Wet n Wild lipsticks. Not only are they affordable, they are so pigmented, like I ramble too much. It is in the shade Smoking Hot Pink. And this is how it looks like once on. So this next pink lipstick, also by Wet n Wild, lipstick is called Don't Blink Pink. I do like their names, their names are very creative. This is how Don't Blink Pink looks like. So the two lipsticks that I'm going to show you are from Inglot, but the first one I'm going to show you is this one, it looks like a ready pink. But this is from Inglot. I shall leave the number colour here because I can't remember what number it is. So last but not least, the last pink lipstick I'm going to show you is this one. My battery's going to die so I need to rush this. So this is how it looks on. As I mentioned already, when I find out the name of this colour, I shall leave it here. Yeah, so this is the end of my favourite pink lipsticks video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I would love to know what your favourite pink lipstick is. Please leave that in the comment section down below so I can check it out and add a few to my collection. Also, let me know what your favourite lipstick was, the ones that I did show you, which you may go out to purchase. I would love if you guys leave those answers in the comment section down below. And also, please feel free to leave any video requests down below. And I shall speak to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys! Stay gorgeous, stay pink. <laughs> Cringe. So I've been on YouTube for three years. Well, if it was up to me, I'll probably make YouTube videos forever. So the but best thing about YouTube for me is meeting subscribers in real life. My female crush is Miss Rosh Posh. Grr.